here, we're not going anywhere. And uh, just couldn't be more proud of our team and really the entire Clemson family. This is a uh, great moment for everybody. Yeah, you know it's, it's been a, a special year. I, I don't, you know, I don't think it's going to probably set in until maybe we're on the plane on the way back tomorrow because we've been kind of so locked in. And that was our big message to our players: is hey, let's stay focused, stay locked in, and just treat it like every game we've treated this year. And uh, but it's definitely uh, a special time. And, Time. I know our players and coaches are going for a long time. Now, I know that uh, you always tweet it out. What time are you guys back at Death Valley? Well, be a lot of people. Yeah, I, I think we're expecting to be back at 5 o'clock, uh, 5 p.m. So I know our, our, our fans that weren't able to come to the game are in their way for us. And, uh, and really, it takes everybody. And I mean, that's what Coach Wayne's done a good job of including everybody. It's our players, our coaches, everybody at the university, and you know, all of our fans. You know, they've truly been all in. And you know, we had 75% of the stadium was Clemson today. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and it was the same thing, ACC championship game, 75% of the stadium was Clemson. And so I think that speaks to a loud message about our fans, how committed they are, and, and this is for them as well. So it's a special time. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, um, I don't know our, our GAs have been breaking them down already. They had to break down uh, both groups. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of get on that tomorrow with, with the video. So it's GAs, not the coaches. Yeah, right? yeah. The, 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 Younger coaches have been kind of breaking down those so that whenever uh, you know, they got one game to break down tonight, and, you know we, we know when you make it to the final four, you're going to play great teams. And you know, and, and our guys, we, we, we've had a tough schedule this year. We played in some big games, and uh, you know it's just the next challenge. If, if, if four more quarters, that's what today is. They earned a chance to play for the national championship. And uh, I know our guys will enjoy this tonight. But whenever we get back, they'll, they'll put all their focus uh, and get ready for whoever we play. Yeah, you know, the biggest thing was just nobody panicked. Uh, you know, we were a little bit disappointed. We, we needed touchdowns in the red zone, and, and we had to settle for some field goals, had a turnover. You know, and, but we looked at the script, and we had 47 plays, 305 yards. You know, the guys up front were really hungry to run the ball. I think really the last two possessions before halftime were kind of in that two-minute mode, so we weren't able to run the ball as much as we wanted to. But we felt like we had a lot of uh, faith in the second half that we'd be able to run the ball. They were staying back. Very similar to last year, we kind of expect them to be a little bit more aggressive this year. But uh, after going through the first half, we decided at halftime, hey, let's just stick to the running game, the short underneath throws, and uh, move the ball. And uh, you know, the guys went and got it done. Every single time this year that our guys have been faced with any type of adversity, they've answered. And that's what championships teams have to do, and uh, they did it again tonight. You guys dominated the line of scrimmage from the second quarter. What does that say about the strength and conditioning program? Yeah, it's, it says a lot. You know, Coach Batson doesn't get enough credit. Credit, but you know, I think now we're 51 and 0. Uh, going back any time that we've had a lead going into the fourth quarter, and uh, that doesn't just happen. You know, that comes from the year-round training, and uh, Coach Batson and his staff are some of the best in the country, and uh, they definitely do not get the credit that they deserve. But I think uh, now they're starting to see that. When you talked about early on, you know, some things were working well, maybe with the line. What kind of click? Click maybe. Well, maybe. I think it was more of us from a, a game planning and calling the game standpoint. We, I think, uh, you know, looking at the game last year, they played a lot of soft coverage and gave us a lot of underneath throws. So we kind of expected this, this that they were going to play a little bit more man coverage, maybe a little tighter. So. Going into the game, we had a lot of double moves, slant and go, hitch and go, those type of things. We thought they'd be pretty aggressive, but you know, it became apparent after we started running those plays that they were just going to sit back, play soft. So we came in and said, hey, let's just keep it simple. Gallman's running the ball well, Deshaun's running the ball well. They're giving us the underneath throws, and uh, let's just take what's there. And uh, that's what our offense has been able to do you know, all year long is take what's there. I think going into the game, we'd scored 60 offensive touchdowns this year, 30 rushing and 30 passing. And it doesn't get any better than that. And I think in order to, to reach the level where we are now, you've got to have great balance. And uh, I think the balance comes from those guys up front. And I, I can't say enough about them. You know, we knew this was going to be a big game having to run the ball. I don't know where we finished. I know at one point it, it was close to 300 yards. And, uh, you know, those guys don't get enough credit. Every week, you know, it, it's the same questions. You know, how are you going to be able to block those guys up front? 
but you know there's something about you know that that unity and coach Sweeney talks all the time that you know uh, when, when you put guys together all of a sudden they can do more than just individuals and and that's really how I would describe you know that offensive line group you know it's not like we've got five seniors up there that have been playing a lot of ball but there's just a chemistry and uh, there's just an attitude of those guys that won't be denied and they really represent our offense and our whole program and, and that's what I told them in pregame you know, in here, I, I, told, I told our OL, we're here because of you. Clemson's had a lot of great skilled players through the years, but we haven't quite gotten to this level because we weren't as consistent up front. And now those guys have, have led us to this point and, and are a big reason that we're able to move on to the championship game. Jim, I'm gonna, uh, I got to give Coach Sweeney credit for that. Every Wednesday after practice for the last two years, he's kept the punt team afterwards. And, uh, and he, he's had two or three fakes he works on and he personally works on it and you know he every single week for two years and he said hey we're, there's going to come a, a point in time where we're going to need it and uh, there was a little bit of question we kind of were hoping they were going to be a little bit more aggressive there was a little question uh, before but got to give coach Sweeney credit he didn't hesitate he called it and we went with it but that's who coach Sweeney is and that's how he's gotten to this point and our players feed off of that and he said hey we're going to be aggressive like we've been all year we're not going to get into this big stage and all of a sudden start being timid and I think our, our players they uh, respect that and they rally around that and, hey we're going we're to give it everything we have be aggressive and go make plays and uh, that's what we've done all year